Uh, this is my large town clock. It has a big sweep second hand and little figures that come out when the hours strike. I was going to put in quarterly chimes, but that became too complicated and I abandoned that part of the project. The clock has rack striking by this plastic rack here made out of a piece of plexiglass. Uh, the snail here, which determines how many strikes there will be for each hour, is also made of plastic. Very difficult to make in Meccano and it will be enormous. Uh, the actual clock is just run from a synchronous motor as I was more interested in the striking and not an escapement. Uh, this part here serves two purposes. It gives the clock a tick and it also makes sure that the clock runs the right way. Ah, that time, I don't know if you saw it, the motor tried to go the wrong way and then it stopped and went the right way. Again, good. There we saw the synchronous motor start in the wrong direction and was stopped and made to go in the right direction. Right, I'll now move the minute hand by hand. That's moving this cam. And at that point, the warning, the rack drops and it's dropped to the eight hour position. So the clock should strike eight times. I'm not sure if it will. Next thing that happens as the cam goes around trying to close in here. This will drop and everything will start. The rack slowly climbs up and after eight strikes it stops. This is the mechanism that moves the figures in and out. Let's see if we can See that working? I'm moving the minute hand round to start the clock. There we go. Quick so it's hard to see. I'll have another go at it sometime and work out the bugs. But I've been making this clock now for months and it's time for something else. Okay, thank you for watching.